laminations of core are generally made of the answer is c silicon steel which of the following could be approximately the thickness of laminations of a dc machine the answer is 0.5 m the armature of dc generator is laminated to reduce the ad current loss The resistance of armature winding depends on all of the above the length of the conductor cross sectional area of the conductor number of conductors The field coils of DC generator are usually made of copper The commutator segments are connected to the armature conductors by means of copper lugs in commutator mica is harder than copper in dc generators the pole screws are fastened to the pole cores by counter sunk screws according to fleming's right hand rule for finding the direction of induced emf when middle finger points in the direction of induced emf four finger will point in the direction of lines of force fleming's right hand rule regarding direction of induced emf correlates magnetic flux direction of motion and the direction of emf induced while applying fleming's right hand rule to the direction of induced emf the thumb points towards direction of motion of conductor if four finger points along the lines of flux the bearings used to support the rotor shaft are generally ball bearings in dc generators the cause of rapid brass wire may be severe sparking rough commutator surface imperfect contact in lap winding the number of brasses is always same as the number of poles for a dc generator when the number of poles and the number of armature conductors is fixed then which winding will give the higher emf the answer is wave winding in a four pole dc machine alternate poles are north and south copper brasses in dc machines are used where low voltage and high currents are involved a separately excited generator as compared to a self excited generator is amenable to better voltage control is more stable and has exciting current independent of the load current in case of dc machines mechanical losses are primary fun of speed iron losses in a dc machine are independent of variations in load so the answer is b in dc generators current to the external circuit from armature is given through commutator brasses of dc machines are made of the answer is carbon the emf generated by a shunt wound dc generator is e now while pole flux remain constant if the speed of the generator is doubled the emf generated will be 2e if b is the flux density L is the length of the conductor, V the velocity of the conductor. Then induced EMF is given by 
बी एल वी इन केस ऑफ ए फोर पोल डी सी जेनरेटर प्रोवाइडेड उथ अ टू लेयर लैप वाइंडिंग उथ सिक्सटीन कॉल्स द पोल पिच उल बी एंसर बी एट द मेटेरियल फॉर कम्यूटेटर ब्रासेस इज जेनरेली कार्बन द इन्सुलेटिंग मेटेरियल यूज बिटुईन द कम्यूटेटर सेगमेंट्स इज नर्माली माइका इन डी सी जेनारेटर्स द ब्रासेस ऑन कम्यूटेटर रिमेन इन कन्टैक्ट उथ कंडक्टर्स हुईच लाइ अंडार इंटरपोलार रिजियन If brasses of a DC generator are moved in order to bring these brasses in magnetic neutral axis there will be cross magnetization as well as demagnetization Armature reaction of an unsaturated DC machine is cross magnetizing DC generators are connected to the bus bars or disconnected from them only under the floating conditions to avoid sudden loading of the prime mover to avoid mechanical jerk to the shaft to avoid burning of switch contacts ad currents induced in the pole shoes of a dc machine due to relative rotation between field and armature In a DC machine, short-circuited field coil will result in odor of burning insulation, unbalanced magnetic pull producing vibrations, reduction of generated voltage for which excitation has to be increased to maintain the voltage. Equalizer rings are required in case armature is lapped. Welding generator will have lap winding. In case of DC machine winding, number of commutator segments is equal to the number of armature coils. For a DC machine's laboratory, following type of DC supply will be suitable. Induction motor DC generator set. So the answer is option C. The function of pole shoes in the case of DC machine is the answer is option D to discharge all the above functions In the case of lap winding resultant pitch is difference of front and back pitches a dc welding generator has lap winding which of the following statement about dc generator is false so here the answer is option d equalizing bus bars are used with parallel running of dc shunt generators the demagnetizing component of armature reaction in a dc generator is reduces generator emf magnetic field in a dc generator is produced by electromagnets The number of brasses in a commutator depends on amount of current to be collected. So here the correct option is option D. Compensating windings are used in DC generators to neutralize the cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction. Which of the following components of a DC generator plays a vital role for providing direct current of a DC generator? So here the answer is commutator. 
in a DC generator, the ripples in the direct EMF generated are reduced by using carbon brushes of superior quality. In DC generators, lap winding is used for low voltage, high current. Two generators A and B have six poles each. Generator A has wave wound armature while generator B has lap wound armature. The ratio of the induced EMF is generator A and B will be 3 is to 1. The voltage draw for which of the following types of brass can be expected to be leashed. Here the answer is metal graphite brasses. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.